The White Devil Full Original Title, The White Devil, or, The Tragedy of Paolo Giordano Orsini, Duke of Bracciano. With the life and death of Vittoria Corombona the famous Venetian courtesan, is a tragedy by English playwright John Webster, circa 1580 circa 1634. According to Webster's own preface to the 1612 quarto edition, to the reader, the play's first performance in that year was a notorious failure, he complained that the play was acted in the dead of winter before an unreceptive audience. The play's complexity, sophistication, and satire made it a poor fit with the repertory of Queen Anne's Men at the Red Bull Theatre, where it was first performed. It was successfully revived in 1630 by Queen Henrietta's Men at the Cockpit Theatre and published again in 1631. The story is loosely based on an event in Italy 30 years prior to the play's composition, the murder of Vittoria Coramboni in Padua on the 22nd of December 1585. Webster's dramatization of this event turned Italian corruption into a vehicle for depicting the political and moral state of England in his own day, particularly the corruption in the royal court. The play explores the differences between the reality of people and the way they depict themselves as good, white, or pure. Characters. Monticelso a cardinal, later Pope Paul IV. Francisco de' Medici Duke of Florence, in Act V disguised as the Moor, Mulinasar. Bracciano otherwise Paolo Giordano Orsini, the Duke of Bracciano, husband of Isabella, and in love with Vittoria. Giovanni Bracciano's son by Isabella. Lodovico sometimes Lodowic, an Italian count in love with Isabella. Antonelli Ludovico's friend and conspirator. Gasparo Ludovico's friend and conspirator. Camillo Vittoria's husband, nephew of Monticelso. Carlo attendant of Bracciano, in league with Francisco. Pedro attendant of Bracciano, in league with Francisco. Hortensio one of Bracciano's officers. Marcello an attendant to the Duke of Florence, Vittoria's younger brother. Flaminio Vittoria's brother, Bracciano's secretary. Isabella Francisco de' Medici's sister, first wife of Bracciano. Vittoria Corombona a Venetian lady, sister of Flaminio, first married to Camillo afterwards to Bracciano. Cornelia mother to Vittoria, Flaminio, and Marcello. Zanchmore servant to Vittoria, in love with Flaminio, then Francisco. Ambassadors, courtiers, lawyers, officers, physicians, conjurer, armorer, attendants, matron of the House of Convertites, ladies. Dr. Julio. Cristofero, one of the line less, ghost, characters who helps Dr. Julio murder Isabella. Webster based the White Devil on newsletter versions of the story of the killing of Vittoria Coramboni, while structuring the story on the basis of Democritan and Epicurean philosophy. The newsletters detailed how Vittoria, of a proud but poor family, married the nephew of Cardinal Montalto, who later became Pope Pope Sixtus V. In 1580, she met Paolo Giordano Orsini, Duke of Bracciano, previously married to Isabella Medici of the famous Medici family. Upon meeting Vittoria, the duke fell desperately in love with her and arranged for the cardinal's nephew to be killed in order that he might secretly marry Vittoria. Pope Gregory soon found out and ordered Vittoria and the duke to pardon even resorted to having Vittoria imprisoned in the Castel Sant'Angelo under the suspicion of having killed her husband. In 1585 a new pope was elected and amid the confusion of change Vittoria and Bracciano married and left Rome. In the play the Pope is misnamed Paul IV, he was in fact the former Cardinal Montalto Sixtus V, Paul IV having died in 1559. Eight months later the Duke died and the Medici family, wishing to protect their family interests, challenged his will, which placed Vittoria to be in charge of his fortune. When Vittoria refused to cooperate, according to the play, the Medicis arranged for her to be killed. She was stabbed to death in Padua by Ludovico Orsini, a relative of her second husband. Plot Summary Count Lodovico is banished from Rome for debauchery and murder, his friends, Gasparo and Antonelli promise to work for the repeal of his sentence. The Duke of Bracciano has conceived a violent passion for Vittoria Corombona, daughter of a noble but impoverished Venetian family, despite the fact they are both married to other people. Vittoria's brother Flaminio, employed as a secretary to Bracciano, has been scheming to bring his sister and the Duke together in the hope of advancing his career, much to the dismay of their mother, Cornelia. The plan is foiled by the arrival of Bracciano's wife Isabella, escorted by her brother and Cardinal Monticelso. They are both outraged by the rumors of Bracciano's infidelity and set out to make the affair public, before that happens Bracciano and Flaminio arrange to have Camillo, Vittoria's husband, and Isabella murdered. 
Vittoria is put on trial for the murder of her husband and although there is no real evidence against her, she is condemned by the cardinal to imprisonment in a convent for penitent whores. Flaminio pretends madness to protect himself from awkward suggestions. The banished Count Lodovico is pardoned and returns to Rome, confessing he had been secretly in love with Isabella, he vows to avenge her death. Isabella's brother Francisco also plots revenge. He pens a love letter to Vittoria, intentionally allowing it to fall into the hands of Bracciano, in order to fuel his jealousy. Though at first his plan seems to work, Vittoria manages to convince Bracciano that she is faithful and the two elope. Cardinal Monticelso is elected pope and as his first act he excommunicates Vittoria and Bracciano, who have fled Rome. Vittoria and Bracciano, now married, hold court in Padua. Three mysterious strangers have arrived to enter Bracciano's service. These are Francisco, disguised as Mulinasar, Amor, Lodovico and Gasparo, disguised as Capuchin monks, all conspiring to avenge Isabella's death. They begin their revenge by poisoning Bracciano. As he is dying, Lodovico and Gasparo reveal themselves to him. Next, Zanch, Vittoria's Moorish maid, who has fallen in love with her supposed countryman Mulinasar, reveals to him the murders of Isabella and Camillo and Flaminio's part in them. Flaminio is banished from court for the murder of his brother Marcello by Bracciano's son Giovanni, the new duke, and sensing that his crimes are catching up with him he goes to see Vittoria. He tries to persuade her and Zanch to a triple suicide by shooting him, then themselves. Vittoria and Zanch shoot Flaminio and, thinking him dead, exult in his death and their escape. Much to their surprise, Flaminio rises from the dead and reveals to them the pistols were not loaded. While trying to exact his own revenge on Vittoria, Lodovico and Gasparo then enter the scene and complete their revenge by killing her. Giovanni and officers come to The scene in the play ends with Giovanni learning of his uncle's participation in the bloody acts and sending Lodovico off to torture. The play was written for and first performed by Queen Anne's men at the Red Bull Theatre in Clerkenwell in the early months of 1612. The troupe usually offered simpler and more optimistic plays of the type written by their dramatist, Thomas Haywood. The play staged before Webster seems to have been If This Be Not a Good Play, a tragicomedy by Thomas Decker. Webster's play failed at its debut. In the prefatory epistle to the quarto, Webster praised the actors, mentioning Richard Perkins, but complained of the winter weather and above all of the audience, whose intellect he compared to that of donkeys. The first successful modern production was that of the Marlowe Society ADC Theatre, Cambridge, March 1920, with music by C. Armstrong Gibbs and with Eric Mashwitz as Vittoria. The Society specialized in Elizabethan and Jacobean revivals in uncut texts performed with their original economy and rapidity, and with the female roles played by men. Anybody who enjoys hearing beautiful poetry beautifully spoken, wrote the editor of the Cambridge Review, and tragic passion, with dignity put on, should not miss this wonderful opportunity. What a magnificent play! For, after 300 years it must console the poet in his Elysium to know that at last his play has been played with success before a, full and understanding auditory. We must confess that to us it was the ritual of an initiation to the mysteries of a play which we always believed to be great, but which we never realized was quite so wonderful. 5. The production inspired the Cambridge scholar F. L. Lucas to edit the complete plays of Webster. But in what exactly does the fascination of Webster consist? He asked in The New Statesman. 6. What could make the Cambridge production of The White Devil in 1920 seem still, to at least two who saw it then without any preconceptions, the most staggering performance they had ever known? In 1925 the Renaissance Theatre mounted a heavily cut version featuring Viola Tree and Cedric Hardwick. The production was not well reviewed, perhaps mainly because of a failure to understand the special requirements of Renaissance dramaturgy. Webster scholar F. L. Lucas asked in The New Statesman, who can hope to speak passionate verse lying on one elbow on the floor? 7. A London production in 1947 at the Duchess Theatre directed by Michael Benthall featured Hugh Griffith as Monticelso, Patrick McNee as Hortensio, Spanish ambassador, Claire Bloom as one of the ladies of Bracciano's court, Margaret Rawlings as Vittoria and Andrew. Cruikshank as the Duke of Florence. In 1965, an off-Broadway production was staged at the Circle in the Square starring Frank Langella as Flaminio, Carrie Nye as Vittoria, Paul Stevens as Bracciano, Robert Burr as Francisco, Eric Berry as Monticelso and Christina Pickles as Cornelia. The production ran from 6 December 1965 to 17 April 1966 and won the Obie Award for Distinguished Performance Frank Langella. 
In November 1969, the National Theatre at the Old Vic in London performed the play in a production by Frank Dunlop, who went on to found the Young Vic. The cast was largely drawn from the company. Geraldine McEwen played Vittoria, Edward Woodward Flaminio, Edward Petherbridge Lodovico, Benjamin Witro Camillo, Derek Godfrey Bracciano, Jane Lapater Zanch, Hazel Hughes Cornelia, John Moffat Monticelso, Jane Wenham Isabella, Anthony Nichols Francisco, and Edward Hardwick Marcello. In later performances, Derek Jacobi played Lodovico. It was designed by Piero Garardi as a crumbling wall out of which characters emerged like crawling insects in fantastic costumes of great extravagance. William Hobbs staged the fights and played the Spanish ambassador. Mime work was by Claude Chagrin. The assistant director was Roland Joff, since then the director of The Killing Fields and The Mission. The Royal Shakespeare Company performed The White Devil in 1996 at the Swan Theatre in Stratford-upon-Avon, later transferred to London to the Pit at the Barbican, directed by Gail Edwards with Richard McCabe as Flaminio, Philip Quast as Ludovico, Ray Fearon as Bracciano, Jane Burnett as Vittoria, Stephen Boxer as Francisco and Philip Voss. The company returned to the play in 2014 with a production in the Swan Theatre in Stratford-upon-Avon, directed by Maria Aberg with David Sturziker as Bracciano, Kirsty Bushell as Vittoria, David Rintoul as Cardinal Monticelso, Simon Scardafield as Francisco and Joseph Arkley as Ludovico. In this production, Flaminio, Vittoria's brother, was played by a woman, Laura Elphinstone. On 1 March 1997, the BBC World Service broadcast an adaptation starring Anton Lesser and Helen Baxendale. On 15 August 2010 BBC Radio 3 broadcast a production adapted and directed by Mark B.B. which, according to the BBC Radio 3 website, sets the action in a murky underworld of the 1950s a world that seeks to hide its shifting alliances, betrayals and sudden violence beneath. A flaky veneer of honor and respectability. The production featured Patrick Kennedy as Flaminio, Anna Maxwell Martin as Vittoria, Francis de Latour as Cornelia, Sean Dingwall as Bracciano, Peter Wright as Francisco, Sean Baker as Monticelso and Harry Myers as Ludovico. On 26 January 2017 a run started at the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse, London, a venue embodying the features of a typical theatre from the period of the original 17th century production. 8. The Red Bull Theatre in New York performed The White Devil in 2019. To date, this play has never been filmed or televised. The White Devil by John Webster is a Jacobean revenge tragedy that involves complex and intertwining plots, filled with political intrigue, betrayal, and moral corruption. Here's a brief summary of the play. The central plot revolves around Vittoria Corombona, a Venetian woman married to Camillo, but in love with Duke Bracciano. Vittoria and Bracciano conspire to get rid of their respective spouses to be together. They manipulate others to achieve their goals, leading to a series of tragic events. Flaminio, Vittoria's brother, becomes entangled in the web of deceit. He serves Bracciano and aids in the murders of Vittoria's husband and Bracciano's wife. Meanwhile, Isabella, Bracciano's sister, seeks revenge for her brother's actions against their family. The Cardinal, a corrupt and ambitious church official, also plays a significant role. He manipulates events to serve his political interests and contributes to the escalating chaos. As the story unfolds, characters meet gruesome fates, and the consequences of their actions lead to a tragic and bloody conclusion. Themes of revenge, political corruption, and the destructive nature of ambition are prevalent throughout the play. The White Devil is known for its dark and intense atmosphere, complex characters, and exploration of the moral ambiguity inherent in the pursuit of power and personal desires. The play reflects the social and political anxieties of its time, making it a classic example of Jacobean drama. The White Devil is a complex and dark play that delves into various themes and offers a rich ground for analysis. Here are some key aspects to consider. Moral ambiguity and corruption. The characters in The White Devil are morally ambiguous, and the play explores the corrupting influence of power and ambition. Characters like Vittoria and Bracciano engage in morally reprehensible actions, blurring the lines between right and wrong. The Cardinal, a church official, is portrayed as corrupt and morally bankrupt. The play suggests that the pursuit of power can lead to moral decay. Revenge and Tragedy The White Devil is a revenge tragedy, a genre popular in the Jacobean era. Themes of revenge are prominent throughout the play, as characters seek vengeance for perceived wrongs. The consequences of revenge are often tragic, leading to a cycle of violence and destruction. Political Allegory 
The play can be seen as a political allegory, reflecting the political anxieties of the Jacobean era. The characters' machinations and manipulations mirror the political intrigue of the time. The cardinal, in particular, represents the corruption within the church and its involvement in political affairs. Feminism and Gender Dynamics The play explores the role of women in society and challenges traditional gender norms. Vittoria is a complex and assertive female character who takes control of her own fate, even though her actions lead to tragic consequences. The play offers a critical perspective on the limitations placed on women in a patriarchal society. Symbolism and Imagery Webster employs rich symbolism and vivid imagery to enhance the play's themes. The title itself, The White Devil, suggests the hidden malevolence beneath a seemingly innocent exterior. The use of symbols, such as the handkerchief and the poisoned book, adds depth to the narrative. Theatrical Elements The White Devil is a play designed for the stage, and analysis can also consider the theatrical elements. The use of dramatic irony, soliloquies, and the play's violent and sensational scenes contribute to its impact on the Jacobean audience. Social Commentary The play can be interpreted as a commentary on the social and political climate of the time. Issues such as corruption, moral decay, and the consequences of unchecked ambition may reflect the playwright's observations of the society in which he lived. In summary, The White Devil is a multifaceted work that invites analysis on various levels, from its exploration of morality and revenge to its reflections on political and social dynamics of the Jacobean era. Different interpretations may arise depending on the lens through which one examines the play, making it a rich subject for literary analysis. The White Devil explores various themes, and here are some key themes along with examples from the play. Revenge Example Vittoria seeks revenge for the injustices she perceives, particularly in her troubled marriage with Camillo. The cycle of revenge continues with characters like Isabella, who seeks retribution for her brother Bracciano's actions. Political Corruption Example, the cardinal represents political corruption within the church and the state. He manipulates situations to serve his own political ambitions, contributing to the overall corrupt atmosphere in the play. Moral Ambiguity Example, Vittoria and Bracciano engage in morally ambiguous actions. Their illicit affair and involvement in murders challenge traditional moral standards, blurring the lines between right and wrong. Ambition and power. Example, characters like Bracciano and the Cardinal are driven by ambition. Their pursuit of power leads to destructive consequences, showcasing the dangers of unchecked ambition. Feminism and gender dynamics. Example, Vittoria challenges traditional gender roles by taking control of her own destiny. However, her assertiveness and defiance of societal expectations lead to her downfall, reflecting the limitations placed on women in the Jacobean era. Tragedy Example, the play follows the structure of a tragedy, with characters meeting gruesome fates as a result of their actions. The tragic elements highlight the destructive consequences of the characters' choices. Deception and manipulation Example. Characters, especially Flaminio, engage in deception and manipulation to achieve their goals. The play is filled with intrigue as characters use cunning strategies to advance their personal agendas. Social Critique Example, the play can be seen as a critique of the social and political climate of the time. The corruption within the church, the political intrigue, and the consequences of unchecked power may reflect the playwright's commentary on the society he lived in. Fate and Fortune Example, the characters' fates are often determined by external forces, and the play explores the idea of fate and fortune. The characters' choices and actions, however, contribute to their tragic outcomes. Symbolism Example, the handkerchief, given by Vittoria to Bracciano, becomes a symbol of their illicit love. The poisoned book, used to carry out murders, symbolizes the deceptive and dangerous nature of power. These themes and examples demonstrate the depth and complexity of the White Devil, and the ways in which John Webster explores the darker aspects of human nature and society in the Jacobean era. Here are character sketches for some of the key characters in The White Devil by John Webster. Vittoria Corombona. Vittoria is a complex and assertive character. She is a Venetian woman trapped in a loveless marriage with Camillo but is in love with Duke Bracciano. Vittoria is willing to defy societal norms to pursue her desires. Her actions, including conspiring to get rid of her husband, contribute to the tragic events in the play. Bracciano Francesco Gonzaga Bracciano is the Duke of Bracciano and falls in love with Vittoria. 
He is ambitious and willing to use his power to fulfill his desires. Brachiano becomes entangled in a web of deceit and murder, leading to his own downfall. His character reflects the dangers of unbridled ambition. Flaminio, Marcello. Flaminio is Vittoria's brother and serves Brachiano. He is a cunning and manipulative character who aids in the murders of Vittoria's husband and Brachiano's wife. Flaminio's loyalty to his sister and involvement in the conspiracies contribute to the overall atmosphere of intrigue and deception. Isabella. Isabella is Brachiano's sister, who becomes a tragic figure seeking revenge for her brother's actions. She is initially betrothed to Count Lodovico, but her life takes a dark turn as she becomes entangled in the play's complex web of deceit and violence. The Cardinal. The Cardinal is a powerful church official and uncle to Brachiano. He is a scheming and manipulative character who uses his influence to advance his political agenda. The Cardinal's actions contribute to the overall corruption portrayed in the play, highlighting the intertwining of political and religious power. Camillo. Camillo is Vittoria's husband and account. He becomes a victim of the conspiracies woven by Vittoria and Bracciano. Camillo's character embodies the collateral damage that occurs as a result of the character's ruthless pursuit of their desires. Cornelia. Cornelia is the mother of Vittoria and Flaminio. She appears as a voice of reason and morality in the play, expressing disapproval of her children's actions. Cornelia serves as a contrast to the morally ambiguous characters around her. These character sketches provide a glimpse into the diverse and morally complex cast of The White Devil. Each character contributes to the unfolding tragedy, and their motivations and actions reflect the darker aspects of human nature and society in the Jacobean era. The White Devil by John Webster has received both praise and criticism since its first performance in the early 17th century. Here are some common points of criticism. Dark and violent themes. Critics often point to the play's dark and violent themes, including murder, betrayal, and revenge, as elements that may be disturbing to some audiences. The intense and gruesome nature of the plot can be challenging for those who prefer lighter or more optimistic works. Moral Ambiguity the moral ambiguity of the characters, particularly the protagonists Vittoria and Brachiano, has been a subject of criticism. Some argue that the lack of clear moral distinctions makes it difficult for the audience to sympathize with or condemn certain characters. Complexity and ambiguity. The play's complex plot and numerous characters can be challenging for some audiences to follow. The intricate web of deceit, multiple subplots, and the large cast of characters may require careful attention and a keen understanding of the political and social context of the time. Lack of comic relief. Unlike some other works of the Jacobean era, The White Devil lacks significant comic relief. The absence of lighter moments or humor throughout the play can make it emotionally intense and unrelenting, potentially alienating audiences seeking a more varied emotional experience. Pessimistic tone. The play is often criticized for its overall pessimistic tone. The tragic events and the lack of redemption for many characters contribute to a sense of bleakness. Some audiences may find this unrelenting darkness to be emotionally draining. Limited development of female characters. While Vittoria is a strong and assertive character, some critics argue that female characters in the play are ultimately limited by the societal constraints of the time. The consequences that befall Vittoria, for example, may be seen as a reflection of the limitations placed on women in the Jacobean era. Political and religious critique. Some critics have raised concerns about the play's portrayal of political and religious figures. The cardinal, representing corruption within the church, might be seen as a one-dimensional villain, and some argue that the play's critique of church and state lacks nuance. Despite these criticisms, The White Devil is also celebrated for its poetic language, complex characters, and exploration of the darker aspects of human nature. The play's historical significance in the context of Jacobean drama and its influence on later works contribute to its enduring reputation. As with any work of literature, opinions on The White Devil can vary, and individuals may appreciate or critique it based on their personal preferences and interpretations. Let's critically examine the comments and discussions about The White Devil by John Webster. Dark and Violent Themes Critique The play's dark and violent themes can be seen as a reflection of the harsh realities and moral complexities of the Jacobean era. While some critics may find the intensity disturbing, others argue that it serves a purpose in highlighting the consequences of unchecked ambition and societal corruption. Moral Ambiguity Critique the moral ambiguity of characters like Vittoria and Brachiano may be intentional to challenge conventional notions of good and evil. 
Critics argue that the lack of clear moral distinctions adds depth to the characters, making them more human and allowing for a nuanced exploration of morality. Complexity and Ambiguity Critique The complex plot and numerous characters may be challenging for some audiences, but supporters of the play argue that the intricacy enhances its depth. The layered narrative and political subtext require careful attention, offering a rewarding experience for those willing to engage with the complexities. Lack of Comic Relief Critique, the absence of comic relief contributes to the play's unrelenting intensity. Some argue that a lack of lighter moments may limit the emotional range of the work, making it less accessible or enjoyable for those seeking a more balanced emotional experience. Pessimistic Tone Critique, the overall pessimistic tone has been both criticized and praised. Detractors may find it emotionally draining, while supporters argue that the bleakness adds to the tragedy's impact, underscoring the play's exploration of the darker aspects of human nature and society. Limited Development of Female Characters Critique While Vittoria is a strong character, critics argue that the limitations imposed on female characters reflect the societal norms of the time. Supporters may counter that the portrayal is a realistic depiction of the challenges faced by women in a patriarchal society, offering a critical perspective rather than an endorsement. Political and Religious Critique Critique Some critics express concerns about the one-dimensional portrayal of the cardinal and the lack of nuance in the play's critique of church and state. Others argue that the simplicity serves a purpose, providing a clear commentary on the corruption within these institutions during the Jacobean era. In essence, the criticisms and discussions around The White Devil often revolve around the balance between its challenging elements and the depth of its exploration of moral, political, and societal issues. Whether one views the play favorably or critically can depend on individual preferences, interpretive lenses, and tolerance for the intense themes presented in the work.